lack of musical ability. <laughs> Wanting to hang around with musicians. Um, I, used to, I, I got to about grade three or four playing the violin when I was at private school. And then when I went to a normal school, um, I kind of gave it up because people said, it smells, you're weird, etc, etc. And when you're only like 11, you kind of take that sort of thing to heart. So I got into metal and all my friends that I was in bands with, and I was in about eight bands um, throughout the school years, and my friends were always the guitarist or the bassist or the drummer, and for some weird reason I was always the singer, henceforth why I was in eight different bands. And I guess when you become entrenched in something you, you eventually become quite good at, um, it just sticks with you. You know, you think, well, it's, it's a bit like being at school and going, well, I'm shit at French, so I'm just going to give up on it. It's kind of like that, I suppose. You think, well, I'm okay at guitar, but there's so many better guitarists, so what's the point? I might as well be a singer and do something a little bit more unique than what other people are doing, and uh, that could be my little forte. And Tom Araya, and King Diamond, Bruce Dixon, at the addenda. Dear man and girls. Unique singers. Yes, probably. For the for the next album, we have a couple of covers. Um, I'm not saying they're actually going to come to fruition, but we've been given the the thumbs up from um, uh, Jeff Jeff Waters from Annihilator do Alice in Hell, which we've been meaning to do since time immemorial, since probably uh, Cruelty and the Beast days, and uh, approaching Jeff Wayne, um, who did The War of the Worlds, which I know is my favourite record ever, uh, to do a, a, a cover of Forever Autumn, but the album version with all the uh, Martian invasion involved as well. Um, we're just looking at him to get the proper backing tracks for that from the 70s. Um, yeah, obviously, if you come and see us live, uh, we do do uh, quite a few old songs, and we've been expanding our repertoire to include a lot of stuff that we haven't played for a long while. Um, and the new lineup is particularly good at, at doing that. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't rule it out. Um, back in the past, we, we recorded Funeral in Carpathia and. Forest Whispers I Name, The Principle of Evil My Flesh, Black Goddess Rises, etc. Nocturnal Supremacy, I think. So, yeah, it'd be pretty good to do any song. I mean, we've got quite extensive back catalogue, so, you know. The world's our oyster, really. I suppose everybody's got their, their personal favourites. You know, there's some songs that I love that we haven't played. Um, there's a track we probably never will play called Caught in Baphomet, which was uh, a bonus track, I believe, on Pornography Deluxe. Am I right? Maybe not. <laughs> We're useless. So many albums. Um, so little brains. Um, yeah, I think we'll get around to doing a lot of um, different material over the years. Um, I think we played Saffron's Curse in the past. Bathory Aria, I think, is one of the few songs we haven't because it's it's a mammoth track. Um, and it eats up quite a bit of the set. We had to play like 17 minutes. Um, you know, it's like an old rhyme of the ancient mariner. So, yeah, possibly. If we do Cruelty in its entirety, then obviously we will have to play that. But, yes, we are looking at doing more obscure tracks. We're working our way through the back catalogue. Um, we've been doing a few recently, Haunted Shores, etc, etc. So, um, I think the next tour we'll see some more obscure songs. 